So I want to talk to you guys about weight gain as you enter perimenopause and menopause. Look, it's something that frustrates both men and women, but let's focus on our, our female patients. As you enter perimenopause and menopause, your sex hormone changes. Your estrogen levels go down, your testosterone levels go down, your progesterone levels go down, and so what happens? So as these levels start to go down, you have changes not just in hot flashes, night sweats, mental fogginess, and all the other common signs and symptoms of menopause, but you have internal changes as well. You have a change in insulin resistance. You have a change in an increase in inflammation. You have less muscle mass, so you start to develop sarcopenia. You have a decrease in bone density. You have changes that are going to affect recovery. So one of the first things we wanna do is look at your complete hormone profile and balance your hormones. We wanna optimize it so that you can put on lean muscle mass, so that you can lower your insulin resistance and decrease inflammation and decrease cortisol levels and by doing so, you're going to not only help feel better, but you're going to, you're going to decrease that mid-suction weight that we start to put on. Look, the second thing is you have to get into resistance training. You have to adapt a lifestyle that's going to prepare you for these changes. Improve sleep, decrease stress, improve nutrition, less processed foods, less sugary foods. All of these things are going to obviously play huge impact on your gut system and your gut biome, as well as inflammation, because it's all correlated. So as we optimize your hormones, we wanna pay specific attention to the other things. That's why I brought in peptides into my practice. We have peptides to improve inflammation. We have peptides to improve almost every aspect of your journey, including growth hormone peptides like Somorlin, that are a awesome add-on to your regular hormone optimization because it's going to decrease inflammation, increase lean body mass, and allow you to have a decrease in visceral fat, which is another big reason for inflammation. Hope that helps. Come check us out.